Hey guys, today we're going to do some pop art portraits inspired by the artist Andy Warhol. Hopefully you know a little bit more about Andy Warhol now and that he loved famous people and making portraits of things he saw, of people he saw every uh, day on TV and in movies. You know, Andy Warhol loved to make things in duplicates, so we're going to do the same thing. One of our portraits is going to be made with paint though, and this is one I'm going to show you today. There's Mr. Warhol right now. One of his most famous quotes is, art is what you can get away with. Let's see what we can get away with today. So I'm starting out with a photocopy of my picture. This is the same picture I took of you, and it's going to be um, in black and white and in high contrast. You're going to want to cut a sheet of contact paper that is pretty similar in size to your picture. Don't worry about a little overlapping. It won't matter too much. Be sure that you lay your contact paper down flat with the sticky side up and begin peeling the backing off of it. This way you should end up with a sheet of contact paper with the sticky side up, again, sticky side up because you want to place the printer paper um, with your portrait on it facing down on the sticky side. That's the easiest way to make sure there's no air bubbles. So I'm going to go slowly from the top to the bottom and press the top down first. Smooth it out and go all the way to the bottom. Now once I have that done I can trim it. Again, it doesn't really matter where you trim it as long as you're getting the full portrait in. There we go. Now, I'm going to need a bowl of water. I'm going to place my portrait with the contact paper and on it and all into the bowl of water and wait for a couple of minutes. After a couple minutes, I'm going to start rubbing the paper off of the contact paper. And this is going to leave you with kind of a slightly sticky um, sticker. But it's not sticky enough to really um, stick to our paper. But we're going to try and get most of the paper off. And we'll be left with a cool sticker of ourselves. Kind of like a transparency. Okay, so we've successfully transferred the ink onto the contact paper and rubbed away all of the remaining printer paper. We just want to make sure we get all the little bits off because you don't want those to show up in your painting. Andy Warhol didn't use ink transfer, but he did use a process called screen printing. There, that looks good. You might want to let it dry for just a little bit or get some paper towels on it. Now I'm going to take a sheet of cardboard and kind of trace a little bit around where my 
portrait is going to go. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm kind of following the lines of my hair. You might want to follow the lines of your eyes, nose, and mouth, where your chin is, where your shoulders hit. Just do the best you can. Remember, we're going to trim this later. Okay, I'm going to put down colors that I really like, but there are no rules about what colors to put. Just please be sure that you put enough paint on it so that it will act as the sticky stuff that will stick your portrait right down on there. Plus, lots of very thick paint works well to cover scraps of cardboard like we're using when we recycle. Okay, a few minutes later and I have an awesome outline. It's still pretty sticky, still pretty wet with paint and that's just perfect. So I'm going to place carefully my portrait. Oh, line it up first. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to place my portrait carefully right down into that paint and smooth away any bubbles right away. Most of the bubbles should come out and kind of squish out. And if you want to adjust the paint a little bit, you sure can. This is the time. After this point, it's really best not to lift up your project. Just go with whatever is there and let it dry on the drying rack. That's it. And remember, I'm watching you. Enjoy, guys.